Greetings of the day. I am Sravani. I am an MTech student in Communication System Engineering branch, working under the guidance of Dr. Prabhat Kumar Sharma, VNIT Nagpur, India. I am grateful to be a part of VTC Fall 2021 conference. Today, I would like to present our work on cooperative user selection using nonlinear energy harvesting in IoT environment. Co-authors of this paper are Dr. Prabhat Kumar Sharma. Why Jayanti Bansi, Dr. Keshav Singh. Contents of this paper are a brief introduction to the topic, system model, simulation results, conclusion and future plan followed by the references. IoT in 5G and beyond 5G. It is interesting to know that there are more than 7 billion population and over 20 billion IoT devices on earth. There is a tremendous rise in the production and usage of IoT devices in recent years. According to research, five years down the line, IoT devices are expected to be 51 billion. It is a promising technology for intelligence environments such as smart cities and smart homes. It supports the coexistence of different wireless networks like wireless sensor networks, vehicular and industrial applications. There are advantages of IoT in 5G and beyond 5G. 5G supports 10 times speed improvement compared to current LTE networks, resulting in faster data transfer between IoT devices than ever. It also supports network reliability, creating more stable connections. However, there exist few challenges of IoT in 5G and beyond 5G. Meager energy resources and transmit power are the two important challenges that we can consider into account. Importance of cooperative communication in IoT environment. Low power transmission can be achieved through node cooperation and multi-hop communication. Cooperative communication plays an important role in achieving reliability and it uses low power than multiple input multiple output system. It replaces multiple antennas at the node to achieve the diversity gain. It also enhances the transmission efficiency and receiver reliability. Need for energy harvesting in cooperative IoT. RF energy harvesting is used to increase the lifespan of IoT networks. As per paper 3, a potential solution to power the energy constrained wireless networks is energy harvesting technique. Thus, node cooperation with energy harvesting mechanism can be deployed to address the energy limitations in IoT devices to encash the advantage of both the techniques. In energy harvesting, the information and the energy are extracted from the received RF signal to address an energy constraint issues of the network through time switching or power splitting mechanisms or combination of the both. Literature survey. Paper 1 and 2 deals with the importance of IoT networks and its requirement in 5G. Paper 4 and 10 deals with the cooperative communication in IoT networks and novel schemes and transmission protocols that improves the throughput without decreasing the bit error probability. Paper 6 and 7 deals with need for energy harvesting in IoT environment. Paper 9 deals with different types of energy harvesting protocols like time splitting and power splitting or combination of the both like hybrid PTS method. Paper 8 and 16 deals with the practical nonlinear energy harvesting to deal with the issues related to the nonlinear behavior of the hardware security. The motivation through this paper is most of the previous works related to the cooperative communication lean, considering linear energy harvesting mechanism. And there are papers which deals with the practical receiver architecture for energy harvesting using time splitting, power splitting and novel power time splitting mechanisms. Motivated by this, practical nonlinear energy harvesting model is considered especially to serve resource constrained wireless sensor networks. And there are works considering different relay selection schemes based on channel state information. Based on this motivation, we consider the best relay selection scheme based on 
uh, absolute scheduling scheme considering the hybrid CSI scenario, where instantaneous scenario, uh, CSI for direct channels at the receiver is considered and statistical CSI for interference channels at both the transmission and receiver end is considered. Contributions of this paper. In this paper, we adopted absolute scheduling scheme by which we can make the best cooperative user selection which is based on instantaneous SNR of the source to CU link. The impact of instantaneous SNR based cooperative user selection and the nonlinear energy harvesting are evaluated. The closer loop expression for outage probability is derived by considering the practical characteristics such as sensitivity and threshold, where sensitivity determines the minimum input power required to harvest the energy and the threshold determines the maximum limit of the energy that can be harvested. Through Monte Carlo simulations, we validated the analytical results and evaluated the performance of the consider system with time switching and time switching and power splitting based mechanisms at target user and cooperative user respectively. In the system model, the base station is surrounded by uniformly distributed IoT nodes. All the IoT nodes are operating in half duplex mode. Coming to the channel model, the channel is considered as really distributed so the pdf uh, is considered as this Rayleigh square which is nothing but exponential so f of h square which is nothing but 1 by lambda e power x by lambda and the cdf expression is given by 1 minus e power x by lambda signal model in the base station delivery phase the signals received by the target user and cooperative users are given by yt1 and ycu as you could see there the pb represents the transmit power from the base station and hbt and hbu represents the uh, channel response from the respective nodes and xb represents the transmitted signal and nt and ncu represents the gaussian noise a target user and cooperative user respectively and the signal received by the target user in cooperative relaying phase is given by yt y, uh, t2 where the uh, power has to be taken from the cooperative user and the distance from the cooperative user to target user is considered and the channel response from the car, uh, cooperative user and target user is considered and the estimate of the transmitted signal from the base station is considered and nt is the uh, noise, noise added at the target user and the m represents the path loss coefficient coming to the transmission protocol there will be two phases one is base station delivery phase and other one is cooperative relaying phase in the base station delivery phase all the active users and the target users receive the signal from the base station all the active users perform the energy harvesting using row factor and signal decoding use one minus row factor there are two possible scenarios in the transmission protocol. In the first scenario, if the target user decodes the information correctly, then it will send an acknowledgement message to the base station and uses the total received signal for signal decoding without undergoing any harvesting. In the second scenario, if the TU doesn't decode the information correctly in the base station delivery phase, it triggers the cooperative relaying phase where the uh, where it will send non-acknowledgement message and uses the total energy for energy harvesting. The scenario 2 can be better understandable by using the timing diagrams as given in the figure. The operation at TU can be explained as the timing diagram 1. When the T, uh, In the base station delivery phase, it will undergo the energy harvesting and in the CR phase, it will receive the signal from the cooperative user. And at the CU, in the CR phase, the operation in CU will be like this. That means the CU will uh, transmit the signal to the target user. That means after receiving the non-acknowledgement message from the target user, all the potential cooperative users will broadcast the RTS request to send packet to the target user. That consists of the pilot information for the channel gain estimation at the target user. And the target user estimates the channel gain from each active user and it will select the best, select, uh, best cooperative user based on absolute scheduling scheme. Finally, the TU decodes, that means the target user decodes the signal from the uh, CU, that means cooperative user based on the CR phase reception. We consider few assumptions in this protocol. Uh, the first one is the signal will be decoded only when the SNR is greater than the threshold limit. And in order to avoid the collision between the uh, cooperative users, we use a uh, time slotted system. And we assume there exists only at least one potential cooperative users in the uh, CR phase. 
the equation of the nonlinear energy harvesting is given by sixth equation where a and b represents the nonlinearity of the har hardware circuitry components such as resistance capacitors etc we consider the snr of the received signal at the target user and cooperative users under bsd phase as given in the seventh and eighth equations and alpha represents the time switching ratio which is nothing but the time duration outage probability calculation in order to deal with the outage probability calculation first we have to select the best cooperative user and that can be done based on the absolute scheduling scheme where the cooperative user with the maximum instant in snr is selected. outage probability analysis so the system will be in outage only under uh, both the redirect link and the relaying link in outage simulated results this figure shows the outage performance of TSPS based nonlinear energy harvesting system. It is observed that as the number of cooperative users increases, the outage probability decreases remarkably at the larger values of SNR. In fact, involving more cooperative users increases the diversity order. Furthermore, it is also observed that increasing the eta value resulted in the improvement of the outage performance for different number of cooperative users. Because the more the efficient energy conversion of the system, the lesser the outage probability. And this figure shows the outage probability versus power splitting ratio rho for different values of SNR and different number of cooperative users. It is observed that the outage probability decreases initially when rho increases from 0 to optimum value. Then it starts increasing. This is due to by using absolute scheduling scheme, best of all the cooperative user is selected and the signal is transmitted to the target user. So the target user can decode the signal with high probability, which results in outage probability decrement. But the outage probability increases after some particular point because as the row value increases, it represents that the energy, uh, the row factor represents the energy conversion and 1 minus row factor represents the information decoding. So there is less power remaining for the information to decode, hence the outage probability starts increasing. This figure illustrates the total harvested energy at the best cooperative user with varying values of SNR for different number of cooperative users. So it is observed that there is no significant uh, change after some particular value and initially there is a nonlinear behavior. And it is also observed that the total uh, amount of uh, harvesting power significantly increases as the number of cooperative users increases. And this is due to the fact that we have used absolute scheduling scheme for the selection of the best cooperative user. And this figure shows the total energy harvested at the target user versus SNR for different values of uh, eta values. And it is observed that the harvested power follows the nonlinear behavior initially and there is no significant change after the optimum value. And it is also observed that the total power will be increasing uh, as the energy conversion efficiency increases. Conclusion. We have studied the cooperative user selection with nonlinear energy harvesting in IoT environment. We have assumed the RF based nonlinear energy harvesting protocols at both the cooperative user and target user and we simulated the results. And we also derived the closed loop expression for outage probability and analyzed the outage probability performance for the proposed system by considering the absolute scheduling scheme for best cooperative user selection. And the simulated result shows that the outage probability increases as cooperative user count increases. Future plan. The proposed system model is well suitable for 5G and it can be improved to meet the requirements of 5G that is ultra reliability and latency. Moreover, we can expect uh, the enhancement in outage probability under the finite block regime using URLLC based IoT environment. I would like to thank the organizing committee of VTC for providing me a wonderful opportunity to present my paper in this conference. I really appreciate and answer the queries if you have any. Thank you.